Good afternoon from the Coliseum where some fans are grilling out and making brunch ahead of game four. Thursday baseball from Oakland, the final game of this four game series and a chance to go out on a winning note and take this series. It's an uphill battle for the Rays, but they do have a good young squad and anything can happen down the stretch as we've seen many times before. We've got a finale here in Oakland. Another gorgeous day for baseball right here in the Bay. Well, here come the A's. They take the field behind Osvaldo Bido, making his second start of the homestand. Had a really good start against the Giants to open things up. Has done that a few times against San Francisco this year. And Osvaldo Bido will be the man to take on the Rays in the finale. 12 inning scoreless streak looking to add on to that here against the Rays looking for a series split. Yandy Diaz is going to get it started and a leadoff walk to Yandy Diaz. And now Brandon Lau who looked to get his first hit of the series. He's in an 0 for 13. And Bido just picked up his first strikeout of the game. Finish a really good changeup out in front for the punch out. One gone here in the first inning, one on for Dylan Carlson. He holds, it's inside ball four, and that's walk, strikeout, walk for the Rays here in the first. They've got an opportunity to get on the board. Two on and one out for Christopher Morell. Well, Neil, this is exactly fly ball to right. Lawrence Butler is underneath. Yandy Diaz will stay put at second base. Well, and that'll bring up Josh Lowe. <laughs> one two pitch. Well, it took 27 pitches for Osvaldo Bido, but he does have a clean first inning of work. Well, and for the Tampa Bay Rays, taking the hill this afternoon is going to be left-hander Jeffrey Springs, making his fifth start since his return from the IL. And, you know, overall, the season numbers look like this, 1-1, one 3-8-6, one, but he has been really good his last two, giving up just two earned runs in 10 innings of work. For Schumann on Duhar and Rooker for the Athletics. Hit hard to right center. Meisner with a good jump runs it down and Rooker has worked a walk so the A's have something going with two on and one out and Langelier is this coming up two on one out two two that's on the outside corner called strike three Eric Backus if the box is correct might have expanded the zone a little bit east to west there two men retired but two on Daz Cameron a three two pitch here to Cameron oh and the change up and what a pitch that was maybe his best pitch of the inning. And Jose Caballero will lead it off for Tampa Bay. That one had a little oomph. Cutter strikes out Caballero. Third strikeout for Osvaldo Bido and a much quicker start to the second. He has Taylor Walls now off the end of the bat. And it hangs up. A sliding catch made by Lawrence Butler. Broke back, then came in, recovered just enough to make a terrific play in right field. That's it. You know how room service works. Meisner is the left-handed hitter. 0-2 oh, pitch with two out. Breaking ball swung out of mess and Badoa. 1-2-3 top of the second with two strikeouts. We go to the bottom of the second. It'll be a single for Butler to begin the second. So here's Tyler Nevin, a right-handed hitter. Bottom of the second, no score. Soft fly ball to right. It drops down and Lawrence Butler is going to move to third. Opposite field hit for Tyler Nevin and the A's have him on the corners with nobody out. All right, now Zach Geloff. But he'll send a charge to center field. Meisner going back, and he will make the catch on the warning track. And Zach Geloff, who nearly got a home run, instead drives home the first run of the game with a deep sack fly to center. It's 1-0. Now Daryl Hernandez in there, the right-handed bat against the lefty Springs. Instead, Daryl pokes the bat head out. It's dropping fast and will get down. Rounding third is Nevin. Emart's going to wave him. The relay throw to the plate is late. And Daryl Hernandez takes second base. An RBI for him, and the A's now lead 2 to nothing. Get on your horse and ride, Tyler Nevin. And with a great read off the bat, Nevin able to come all the way around and score. He's aboard with a two-out single. Now Lawrence Butler. Cameron's running. Butler is taking. Brantley is not throwing. And a stolen base for Daz Cameron. Ground ball up the middle and through for a base hit. Cameron will come around to score and Butler is two for two. The A's add another. It's three to nothing in the third. That's what I'm talking about. And the A's are able to push another run across here in the third with two outs. That's a big two out knock from the Law Dog. And now it's Christopher Morell's turn. Ray's also looking for their first hit. 3-2 pitch is ripped in the left field, and that is a base hit for Christopher Morell, and it's the first of the game for Tampa Bay. He makes a big turnaround first. It's Caballero now. And whacked into left, and the Rays will get a run. 
Morrell scores. Caballero heading for second, and the tag safe. It's an RBI double, and the Rays are on the board. I'll tell you what, Miguel Andujar has one of the strongest outfield arms, especially as a left fielder. And boy, did he make that close. I didn't think he had a shot. I mean, that's as strong as it gets. Four in the books, and the A's lead it 3-1 to one, on to the fifth, and here's Ken. Cameron Meisner leads it off for the uh, Rays. Poke his bat head out, shallow left. Andujar on the run, makes the catch, and one is away. And that'll bring up Rob Brantley. Slow rolling ground ball to first. Nevin will take it himself. Yandy Diaz has walked and struck out looking. Hit this one in the air. To right, Butler comes in and makes the catch. In a one, two, three frame for Osvaldo Bedeau and halfway through our ball game today. After four and a half, the A's on top of the Rays. And even though Lau doesn't have a hit yet, he draws a key walk. You can see the enthusiasm from the Rays' dugout. Looks like it's going to be Otanez. He makes the point. Bedeau's day is done. Goes five-plus innings, giving up a run, but does have that runner at first base. He can hand the ball to some guys down there in the bullpen that have done a dynamite job of cleaning things up. 0-2. Popped up. Schumann fighting the sun. Geloff moves over and makes the catch. Otanez, a clean sixth of relief. But I think there's a certain feeling in that raised dugout that's a little different than that. What time is it? It's Miller time. 41st appearance of what has been an amazing rookie season for Mason. One and one, a 1 8 9 ERA, 19 saves. Wall is a switch hitter batting left. So three and two, the infield to pull, the outfield, tons of room in right center. And he just struck out Taylor Walls, who turns around and has a word to say to Eric Bacchus. Well, I think Mr. Walls go back and take a look at the video and realize, yeah, okay. One out. And nobody on here in the ninth. Here's Cameron Meisner. And Meisner's got his first big league hit. And the Rays want the baseball, and Meisner will get a chance to keep that. Turned around a first pitch, and that'll get the tying run to the plate. Well, I guess if it's going to take that long, you might as well get it off of Mason Miller. Well, a triple-digit fastball. Had to work hard for it. Maybe the Rays can turn it into something. And now Junior Caminero is going to come on and hit for Rob Brantley. And he'll wave and miss. Another great slider from Mason Miller. He has two strikeouts. So two out in the ninth. He is clinging to a three to one lead. And the lifeline is Yandy Diaz for Tampa Bay. One two pitch. Brown ball to short. This should do it. He flips to Geloff. Mason Miller the Reaper collects his 20th save and the A's win three to one securing a series split.